So yeah, this is technically an episode of Behind the Wheel, but not in the manner that you guys expect. We're not exactly gonna review this territory that we're in, but we are going to pick up somebody that is very familiar with the car by the name of Mr. Mike Breen, the president and CEO of Ford Motor Company, Philippines. And the reason why we're picking him up is, well, because I just wanted to have a chat with the guy. He seems like a nice fellow to have a conversation with. Ask him some odd questions here and there. But really also to try and figure out when the launch date in the Philippines of the Everest and the Ranger is going to be and what we can expect. And hopefully we'll come to some sort of agreement where he can give me a date, a specific date, or maybe like weeks kind of a thing. Who knows? Let's find out. So the first question that I want to ask is that I've got a little bit of history about you. I looked you up online. I didn't stalk you. Yeah, I don't know if I'd agree <laughs> with that, but, let, but let's see where the question goes. You started working for Ford straight out of university? No, no. I have a, I, I have first, you know, School wasn't my strength. <laughs> you and me so, both. So, I, and I'm okay admitting that. Um, so I actually, I, I graduated from university a little later than than most. Okay. Only because I was enjoying life. I was actually involved in uh, theater. Theater. So, yeah. You're the so, man of the theater. Can you imagine? That'd be awesome. <laughs> what, what kind so, of theater? It was very fun. Musical theater. Excellent. And uh, so I worked for a semi-professional. Uh, theater company. Can you carry and, the um, Not so much. My wife can, which, by the way, that's how I met my wife. Aww. But so that another story, another day. Okay. <laughs> what does everybody need to know about Michigan? Oh, well, I, I mean, the, the benefit of, of growing up in Michigan. First, everybody says this, and it's like the seasons in Michigan yeah. are absolutely incredible. And so in the Philippines, you have hot, hotter. Hot and rainy, right? Yeah, correct. And sticky. <laughs> so, yeah. So in, in Michigan, it's you know, you, you get the traditional summer, fall, winter, spring, you get snow, so you get that whole variation and I feel so, a song coming on. Totally love it. <laughs> <laughs> so love the seasons. Uh, that that's probably one of the cool things about Michigan, but also the home of the automotive industry. Was your love for automobiles simply because of where you lived or was there a passion already prior to that? More so because of where I lived. And it actually grew over time as I spent time with the company. You're a very approachable person. You have a very commanding height about you, but the first thing is that like the, 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 when I first met you, I want to speak to the guy. I want to talk to the guy. <laughs> I want to ask him questions and whatnot, yeah. which is exactly what we're doing here. So thank sure. you for allowing yeah. us to it's do a, this. It's a blast. I, I love it. And I found being here in the Philippines, um, it, it's so easy to be here. Is um, it the people? Yeah, it really is. And, you know, I, and I think you, you, you mentioned that you, you know my history, but you know, I spent 23 years in Ford Motor Company in, in the States. Correct. So you, you get this, this U.S.-centric uh, perspective because if you're not working on global business, you don't understand what, what it's like to, to serve and work for and support other markets, other countries. Do you have a favorite sports team? So I have, a favorite, I, I have two favorite sports teams, but not because they're good. Let me just start with that. So it, it, it's, it's going to be Detroit Lions, Tigers. Tigers. And Detroit Lions. Lions. And OK, so again. Not because they're good. Not because they're good, because I grew up there. Correct. Right? That's and right. so that's part of the, the joy of, of spending time together is you go, true. whether they're winning or losing, you go and you decide you're going to have a good time. That's true. OK. Could you describe yourself in three words? Oh. Is that even possible? I would say fun. OK. Challenged. Challenged. Dynamic. Excellent. Very excellent. Three say that you three. learn something every day. Tell me something that you've learned this month. <laughs> I, I, I can give you any um, sample of, of what the learnings are, things that I've learned. Yeah. This month specifically has been the, the challenges of overcoming and the benefit uh, associated with what we're going to do to get our next generation Ranger and next generation Everest on the ground here in the Philippines. Do we have a date? Hmm. We a have specific a, date. We do have a date. Excellent. Yeah. And? Yeah. yeah. When's the date? Soon. <laughs> I tried. How about, how about within? How I about, tried. How about 
within a few weeks. Does that help? <gasps> within a few weeks. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> How many years of work experience before you started, which was back in 93? You yeah. started in yeah. Ford with 93. Yeah. yeah, so. Which I find really remarkable because in 93, I was deep into actively failing high school oh. and destroying my liver. Well, look while at you. you. Were, while, while you were out getting a J-O-B, and that's amazing. I, I think you're kind of, I, I, aren't you kind of more calling in, calling out our age difference? That's a very good point. <laughs> that's a very good point. But it, it, it's just that what, yeah. what brings me to that too is that you have been with Ford since 1993. That means by next year, you are actually coming up on 30, 30 years. years with Ford. Yeah, January will represent 30 years with that the company. That is amazing. It's been incredible. I had no idea. And as a matter of fact, to your, your other question, um, I actually started with Ford as a temporary employee. Temporary it, employee? It, as a, um, so I, was, I worked for a temporary help company okay. in the call center. So I actually started taking customer calls in the call center in, in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, what gets me is, is, is the fact that you, you've been with the company for so long and, and obviously uh, with that kind of tenure, um, eventually you, you, you rise up in, in the ranks and, and now you are a, a president and CEO of Ford Philippines currently. And um, I do have to ask, is, there, is it a hype? Is there a height prerequisite to become the president of Ford Philippines? Because everybody seems to be like over six feet tall, or am I just just so, basing myself on a yardstick kind of so a thing? So based on that question, you might not qualify as, ah, that's as what I'm president thinking. of Ford Motor Company. But um, no height requirement. Oh. You, you know what? Your dynamic personality might help. Yeah, that's not going to get me anywhere. <laughs> might I ask you, what is your favorite Ford car? Oh, I think that's an easy one. It, it probably have. changed, no, through life. Explore. Could I perhaps ask you what your favorite non-Ford car sure. would be? Yeah, absolutely. Tesla. And it's not a specific nameplate for Tesla. It's it's the tech it, it's the technology. If in um, any case Elon Musk sees this, no, he cannot be bought. <laughs> Back off. Yeah. That, no, I'm, you're right. I'm loyal. I'm I'm all in on Ford. We just have to figure out how to, you know, take full advantage of the learning. Stick to Twitter and keep your mitts <laughs> off him. Got it? Might I ask you your opinion as to why you believe the Ford uh, territory, which is the automobile yeah. that we're in right now, has been such a great success? In fact, it even won our uh, Consumer Choice Award back in 2020. Yeah. I, and I, it followed it up with a second place in yeah. 2021. So, and, and I want to start with thank you, but I, I know it's because the vehicle earned it, right? I mean, true. And, and so it. I it, mean, look at. Um, it, it's no small thing to say that you're a very tall person. Yeah. Yet you fit inside this automobile. There's still look, so much space. Look. That's right. <laughs> All in, I don't know if you can see that. Right? I actually wanted the Explorer, but they uh -huh. said, no, take Mike around in the territory. And I don't think there are any complaints. How perfect is that? No, I'm all in. Absolutely. So why the success of yeah, the territory? I, th I think it's the right product at the right time. Mm -hmm. if, if you really look at and think about it, it's, you know, it's, it's really, really well equipped. And it, it satisfies. It gives customers really exactly what they wanted exactly at the right time. If you think about you know, the, the, the challenges of the pandemic over the last few years, yes. and, and this vehicle was launched during the pandemic, and, and we delivered on so many of those you know, requirements. It's, it's safe, it's, you know, it, it, it delivers on capacity for customers and also you know, space in the back. The technology uh, of the vehicle is, is incredible. And so I really think, and it's also packaged really well at a very reasonable price. Now, with regards to the, the Ranger and the Everest, and you already mentioned that it's a few weeks. I'd like to press you more for a specific date, but few weeks actually will take it. All right. Are there anything that, uh, apart from what we've already read on the internet, is there anything else that we can expect? Yes. Like? <laughs> so I think the, the key takeaways on, on, on Ranger and Everest is the technology enhancements. Um, and and that's that's going to be a huge piece. Uh, Can we expect what it is. that huge screen even in the, here in the Philippines? You'll know soon. <laughs> <laughs> I've been invited by your office to see the Everest for myself yeah. uh, at the launch in uh, Bangkok or uh -huh. no, Thailand. Sorry, yeah. not in Bangkok. And that's going to happen in a, in a few weeks' time as well. And I was just wondering, do you have any tips of what I should be looking out for when it comes to the Everest? Uh, is there something that doesn't 
not everybody knows about that I could perhaps pick and show I, on camera? I, so, well, I, 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 this might be a hard one to show on camera, okay. but it's something that had been prioritized uh, from the prior Everest to the next gen Everest is, you know, technology, as I said, but yes. in addition to technology, pay attention to ride and handling. Ride and handling. Yeah. Okay. So I think you'll 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 see just kind of based on the updated design and structure. Ride and handling. I think um, that that will deliver, and of course, just the the general appearance. And those pictures and images are certainly out there now. Correct. But um, you know, and and all of that will probably come more to life as, as things progress. The one product that I wanted to ask you would be, let's say, for example, for its electrification plans for sure. the Philippines. Yeah. Now, uh, we've seen it in news uh, all over. Uh, the one thing that I really look at is the Ford Lightning. Right. I think that is a great product. I love how it looks. It's it's massive, it's burly, and, and it's clean at the same time. It's like zero CO2 emissions. I love it. But are there any plans for Ford Philippines to, 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 to join uh, what everybody else has begun on with it when it comes to the electrification process? Yeah. So, you know, just like any future product plans, mm -hmm. uh, we're always looking at opportunities to bring vehicles into the market. Yes. Uh, and as you mentioned, the, the global initiative and the global activities that, are, that we're working toward in increasing uh, availability of uh, EVs mm -hmm. and, and what we can do. So to answer that question specifically, not the answer anyone likes to get ever is, well, we don't talk about specifics on our future product plan, but at the same time, if you look at the direction Ford's going globally yes. on EVs yes. and ha having prioritized that with Ford Model E, which is the other piece of the, the global structure mm -hmm. that's been established, um, we will continue to identify what's the right product to bring to the Philippines once the infrastructure can support it. Uh, Ford has been working a lot when it comes to servicing. Are there any future plans on that? Or would you like to elaborate a little bit on that? The couple of key things that took place actually before I got here, but that we've been able to deliver on is same day delivery on on parts. Now, on parts, yes. you know, unfortunately, the supply chain challenges yes. have, have kind of made that yeah. less beneficial. And it's not just one, it's several challenges. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And then also supporting dealers on just general parts inventory. So mm -hmm. those are kind of behind the scenes activities. At the same time, when I talk about you know the consumer experience, uh, an increased emphasis and focus on training. Um, you know, really messaging what can customers expect when they come into the dealership, you know, for service. Uh, you know, and, and, and it, it includes, a, I would call it a, a, an experience suite of services that we'll be looking at and focusing on, you know, maybe not necessarily immediately at launch, okay. but that will be phased in over time. How do we build the experience that, that kind of delivers on, you know, making customers feel like part of the Ford family. You know, where, yes. where, how do we deliver on that? Um, because it, you know, it's, it's already frustrating when you have to have service performed, right? If, if there's a problem with a vehicle. And, Correct. and I think Correct. we have to, everybody would just need to acknowledge and understand that. Star Trek or Star Wars? Oh, Star Wars. Star Wars, your yeah. favorite character? Uh, Chewbacca? Chewy! <laughs> oh, that's like you. I mean, <laughs> the bad boy pistons or the current pistons? Bad boy are always more fun. Uh, yeah, that's uh, probably not the right answer to give. <laughs> no, but they, they were awesome. <laughs> they were awesome. If you look at and think about, yeah. Are you a LeBron fan or a Jordan fan? Probably if Jordan. you had to choose, I, I would say Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. So there a is a little less, uh, a little less out there less out yeah, there. Right? I think what Jordan, this is probably not going to go, but I think what Jordan <laughs> really did is that when he, st when he finished playing basketball, he was done playing exactly. basketball. Yeah. You were also responsible for the communications and whatnot to set up the launch of the Raptor in Thailand, right. were you not? Yeah. The yeah. odd thing is, is that unfortunately we didn't meet, but I was there. Oh, how cool is that? It, when the trucks were all flying yep. and the yeah, rain was absolutely. coming down, <laughs> it couldn't have been worse and it couldn't have been better at yeah. the same time because it was the perfect conditions to launch the Raptor. Oh, it was it ideal. It was yeah. nuts. Well, and the interesting thing was I was in, in China at the time. I was working from China during the Raptor launch. Oh. So I was the truck marketing manager for Asia Pacific. And so I was, I was kind of facilitating that. Budweiser or San Miguel? I, 
I'd say San Miguel. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent choice. That's a that's a new acquired taste. So, oh, is it? Yeah. Mm, absolutely. Are you a are you a morning or a night person? Morning. Are you a Beatles fan or a Stones fan? Oh, definitely Beatles. Definitely so, Beatles. Yeah. Oh, old, anything oldies really, and and but not and never not as much a, a Rolling Stones guy. Pan de sal or bagels? Filipino bread pan de sal with cheese. Probably bagel and cream cheese, but. It's got to be, 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 be a good bagel. Have you ever tried any Filipino uh, delicacies, such as perhaps balut? I have. Or You've tried balut? I have tried balut. And? Um, it was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Did it, when I, you open it, did it chirp? No, no, not quite. <laughs> if you don't try stuff, yeah. you're not going to experience the good stuff. Lechon. Yeah. Oh my god. Cebu? Yeah. Oh my god. Something else? Also, buko pie? Buko, buko pie. pie. Oh. You like it? Oh, yeah. Now look at you, the local oh, boy. come on, really? <laughs> and, and, and then there's the whole conflict about is it, you know, is it from Tagaytay, Cavite? <laughs> you know, and, and no, that's not real. I, I, I don't understand because it's all good to me. Okay, so the next step would be dinuguan. No. Has anybody ever offered you dinuguan? I don't think so. Dinuguan is basically cubed pork with a lot of spices, mm -hmm. but it's cooked in pig's blood. So I gotta say, <laughs> I've had it. Oh, you have! <laughs> I have. Oh. I have. And? I loved the pork. Okay. Um, if the team hadn't told me then what the sauce fine. was, I would have been fine. If you could have dinner with one person, dead or alive, who'd it be? Wow. Alan Mulally. What he brought to the table for Ford was an understanding, you know, not only the, you know, the, the product cycles, but understanding of the benefit that the dealer body and the dealer organization brings to the table. There is one other thing. Now, I do realize that next year is your 30th anniversary, and I had to look this up, thank you, Google, but apparently on your 30th anniversary, we need to celebrate it because it's your pearl anniversary. I didn't know it's a pearl anniversary. Are it we going is. pearl diving? No, oh. I got something better for you. Ah. The entire Philippines is known as the Pearl of the Orient. I did. So I, we I do are know the that. gift on your 30th anniversary. Well, thank you so Happy much. Happy anniversary. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> How special is that? Well, I'll, I'll take full advantage. I'm not waiting until next year take to enjoy the, the Pearl of the Orient. And, yes. and we're, we're both well, Diane and I. Well, technically speaking, it. it's the Pearl of the Orient Seas. Oh, look at that. Now I know better. <laughs>